What's going on? YouTube, I'm back with another video. Uh, today we're going to talk about translucent and zero. And which trait does what? Alright, we're going to start with the hypo. This is a hypo. We spoke about the hypo um, a couple days ago. Because I just picked this girl up at the reptile show. She's actually shedding right now. Um, but I can still explain what the hypo gene does. Let's look at this girl real fast. If you look at her shoulder pads, she shows them. See how dark they are? They're black. Hypo. Hypo is actually short for hypomelanistic, which is the reduction of black pigment. So if you look at her shoulder pads, the black is taken out of it, and it gives them like a gray or a blue color. So a lot of the blue bar stuff or stuff that you see that say blue bar is most likely going to be a hypo. In most cases, which gives us that color. If, the, if it, this if this dragon doesn't have didn't have hypo, those markings right there would be black. So, when you strip away the black from it or the melanin, it give at least that gray or bluish color to the to the barring. And so this girl was perfect to do this example with, so you can see that blue gray look on it. And um, it's a overall lighter dragon because the black is stripped away. Now, translucent does pretty much the opposite. Wait, let's look at the belly on this girl. You can see how white it is. What translucent do, it takes away that white, which gives the skin an opaque color. Opaque to clear. That's why you can see the belly. The bellies are blue. Because the translucent gene takes takes away the white. Sometimes you'll see like little patches like around the, the mouth and stuff. Sometimes even white patches on the belly. It's because of, especially when it's a hypotrans because the genes like battle battle against each other for real estate pretty much. So sometimes I call it paradox as well. Um, even though paradox, paradox could come either way. It could be a non-hypo, non-trans paradox and it could be a trans paradox and a hypo paradox. But originally it was just... Um, it used to be hypotrans that was most of the paradox in the in the game. But again, translucent gene takes away the white from the dragon, which gives that the skin a transparent transparent look. It look gummy. And it, in some cases that it looks super pink. <clears throat> like all all translucent are aren't as trans as others but they all still breed true to the same same um same i don't know what word i'm trying to use but you breed them the same way you don't want to just because it doesn't show as much trans as another trans you don't want to do it to another trans like you you're going to breed it um head to head instead of visual to visual or visual to head in some cases, you can do visual to head if you know the lines and you've been following the lines for a long time. Like if you if you if you are self bred animals for probably like three generations, and you get to a place that you have a head and a possible head, or you know the people who produce them and that the lines don't cross too too recently in a few in the past, you can go ahead and do those. But it's still best to do head to head. Trans is probably the second or third gene. I know Hypo was the first uh, morph. Trans, I think, was the second or third. Leatherback and Trans was about the same. Came about the same time. And there's different lines of Leatherback. It's uh, like a like a an Italian. We had Italian Leatherbacks, so which was a more smoother one, and. We had American smoothies that came around the scene about around the same time, but the Italian version was a little bit more smoother. And then there's also the recessive. I think it may be more scale mutations than than we actually recognize, because sometimes you can have dragons with very long spikes on the side compared to other ones. Even in the leatherback form, it'd be smooth right here, and then long spikes on the side. So. I think it all. I think it might be more mutations that we actually recognize or speak on. 
it just we're not focusing on it because it's nothing major. Because it's a lot of different scale sizes that I see. Um, even with the leather back, sometimes I see like a smooth. This is a pretty smooth leather back. Sometimes I see some cubic. Um, I think they call cu cubicles or something like that. Um, some of the scales are raised and like more bumpy, and I think that could be. Um, separated and bred out and so, so it can continuously happen but it's not sought after like that so nobody's pursuing it but today we're basically talking about hypo and trans and the differences and again hypo is short for hypomelanistic it's a reduction of black pigment and again you see the shoulder pads on that one so black shoulder pads on this one it's going to be a grayish blue color because the melanin is stripped away with the hypogene. And then the trans is basically the opposite. The trans take away white, which gives the skin a, that opaque, translucent look. And trans, if you didn't know already, is short for translucent. And that's the difference between the two. So when you have the two together, you have uh, the hypo, which is going to take away most of the black, and then the trans taking away all the white, which basically leave a dragon with more color. So the white is gone, the dark is gone, so it's leaving an overall brighter animal, and sometimes they like look like they're going to glow. So if this animal was trans right now, it's going to have a whole different look. The orange is going to be more like a neon, neon color sort of like her ear so see the orange on her if she was trans the trans would be I mean the color would be like that that ear color right there it's like a neon color versus when it's just a hypo because it still had that white in the background <laughs> but yeah that's the two some beautiful bars. And hypo also have clear nails in most cases. Sometimes you have a little bit of black pigment in there, but most of the time it's going to be clear nails compared to, see this dragon here? The nails on this one. If I get the camera to focus. There you go. The nails are black. And the nails on here is clear. See even her nails got a little bit of a little bit of remnants of some black in it. But the overall lighter color and those light shoulder pads is a big giveaway. Um I'm going to put these guys back. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until the next video, you guys have a good one. Peace.